Yo guys, this is Mosen Lens. So today, I'm going to show you how you can make a gaming outro or end screen for your videos. So yeah, let's get started. So first, you just need to go and make a canvas of 1280 by 720 and just go and download a photo of a gaming a wallpaper that you guys want. So I will just put mine. So after that, just go into a saturation and just put it into negative 60 to make a black and white um, effect on it. And now what you're going to do is just add a empty layer, go into end sign, fill in stroke and just um, pick the color that you guys want. So I just will pick um, orange. So just click the check mark button, go into fade, just make something like that. It's up to you. So just edit it in the circle like that and just put it into the side of it of the side of the wallpaper if you want to make it big it's up to you guys click the check mark button um put the blend mode into overlay and that's it it will add a um effect on a color of the wallpaper so just repeat it um four times and change try to change some color of it and try to um put it on the other side of the wallpaper to make a nice effect for the um photo And now it is done, so just go into the top layer and just add a empty layer again. Go into end sign, fill and stroke, and just make the color into a black one and click the check mark button. Go and make the opacity into 50% to make a nice effect for the photo. And that's it for the wallpaper of our outro or end screen. So just go and save it into JPEG. So now guys, what you are going to do is just go into the link in the description down below and download this PSDX for a Photoshop touch. So it's just a box like this that you can edit the um, color of it for the um, end screen of the outro. So if you want to change the color, it's up to you, but just go and download it in the link in the description. So now guys, what you're going to do is just download KineMaster in the link in the description down below. So it is a cracked version of Pro. So just go and click that and empty um, project to make a empty project from scratch. So now what you're going to do is just import um, the photo that we made. So just like that. And now what you're going to do is just uh, spread it into 9 seconds as you can see into the dur duration. It has a second so make it 9 but it's up to you. So so now what you're going to do is just go into the start into of the video. Go and click it and go and click the cropping and just make it into full screen. But make sure that you click the um, the equal sign so it is um, perfectly... Um, uh, fit onto the screen so just like that and if you're done just click the um, check mark button so now guys what you're going to do is just click the layer button and just add the photo that you guys um downloaded in the link in the description down below which is the box so make sure you guys don't um imported it or save it into png so it has no background so just click it and add it to the timeline of our video so now what you're going to do is just add, um, put it on the center of the screen. If ha it has that line, it means it is centered. So just put it onto the right side and just add a animation of it. It's up to you, but I will just put the scale up and just I will put it off the speed into 0 0.5. After that, just click the layer of the box, click the um, three dots and just duplicate it and it will duplicate it just like that. And now what you're going to do is just put the other um, layer of the box into the left side so it has a box on the left side and also in the right side. And after that, 
you will have a two box for your outro or um, end screen and now what you're going to do is just go into the start of the video and just click the layer and image and just import a custom text from pixel lab or fonto it's up to you and just go and click it and add it into the screen of the um, outro it's up to you if you're going to put it on the other side of the screen but i will put it on the center and at the bottom of the two boxes after that just go and click the in animation and to add a animation for that text that but I will use scale up again and I will speed it up into 0.5 and after that just go into image and just go and add a um, custom font again I will just add for more and it's up to you on where you're going to put it I will just put it on the um, downside or bottom side of the subscribe after that go and to add a in animation of it i will just put um i will just add it into a pop animation and i will just adjust the speed of it so it's up to you on what animation you're going to use but i will just use pop because it's cool and now what you're going to do is just go and adjust all of the video layer until the end of the video so it will um not uh end too short so now what you're going to do is just go into the start of the video go into the music and just find the best music that you guys want for your outro just make sure that the music is non copyrighted so um, YouTube will not go into copyright it and just go and adjust the um, music if you guys want to start it from the beat of the music or into the chorus or in the last um, song of the music just it's up to you and the last thing that you're going to do is just go into the screw sign and just click that from the left side just go into video and just go and adjust and turn on the video fade out into um one second to make a nice effect when the video is going to end so that's it guys i hope you guys learn and enjoy this tutorial and i hope it's helpful for you so if you guys like it just go and click that like button and subscribe button for me and for more videos and tutorial for you and i will see you in the next video peace goodbye